wealth. According to published research out there right now, an estimated 11 million Americans are impacted by something called eustachian tube dysfunction. Have you heard of it? Well, it's a condition that can affect your hearing. In our HealthCast today, we're taking a closer look at the causes and the treatments. Going back to early childhood, Dean Weston started having problems with his ears. I, I would recall having, you know, major pain and pressure in my ear and it would usually result in me getting some type of sinus infection, sore throat. From the time he was a toddler to well into his teens and even beyond, Dean underwent multiple surgeries to place tubes in his ears to ease the pain and the pressure. My life kind of revolved around my ear problems. Otolaryngologist Dr. Ariel Grobman says eustachian tube dysfunction is more common in childhood, but it can also happen later in life. The eustachian tube is a small passageway which connects the back of the nose to the ear, and it opens and closes to allow air into our ears. Allergies and infections like the common cold and flu can cause inflammation and mucus buildup, leading to blockage of the eustachian tube. Acid reflux, which can cause stomach acid to back up into the throat, can also be a culprit. People who fly or dive a lot are also at a greater risk. The doctor says treatment depends on the severity of the condition. That can range from over-the-counter allergy medications such as nasal sprays and allergy pills to steroid prescription pills to reduce swelling, prescription strength nasal rinses which deliver anti-inflammatory medication to the eustachian tube opening in the back of the nose. And there are newer, minimally invasive surgical options that allow specialists to open up the blocked area. After undergoing the procedure last year, Dean is flying high again. It's been a, a year since the procedure and I don't have uh, an ear tube. Uh, I don't have a ton of pressure or pain in my ear. I haven't had any sinus infections. You know, I never thought that uh, this would be something I wouldn't have to worry about uh, in my life. And, and here we are. It's great. It is great. And warning signs of eustachian tube dysfunction include hearing problems or ringing in the ears, balance issues, as well as pain that mimics an ear infection. In rare cases, it can cause hearing loss and permanent change and damage to your eardrum and middle ear.